Hello grade 11s, welcome to this lesson on how to sketch quadratic functions in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Let's join Reno, who will guide us through this process. y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 3. We don't even need to factorize because we have the quadratic formula and we now have the values of x, y, a, b and c and we will use them to calculate the turning point and the equation of the axis of symmetry. Let's take a look at all the information. Right, the turning point is the point P, Q. From the quadratic formula, we can calculate P by calculating negative B divided by 2 times A. We get A, B and C from the general form of the quadratic function. So we just need to use the A, B and C values from our formula to calculate what we need. To sketch this graph, we need to find the turning point. The turning point is P, Q, and we can calculate P with this formula. P is equal to negative B divided by 2A. Now let's substitute. P is equal to negative. Now my B is negative 4 divided by 2, and my A is 2. Therefore, P is equal to 4 over 4 so P is equal to 1. We also need to calculate Q, or the Y coordinate of the turning point. We have just calculated P, which is the X coordinate of the turning point. So what we will do now is we will substitute that value of P for X in the equation. So Q will be equal to 2 and in place of the x, I put p, which is the x-coordinate of the turning point. We calculate it as 1 minus 4, 1 plus 3. So q is equal to 2 minus 4 plus 3. q is equal to 1. So the coordinates of the turning point are 1, 1. We can now start drawing the graph. So we have our turning point x1, y1. So that is the turning point. But will the graph be a parabola which is cup like or upside down? Well, A is positive, it's 2. So, the parabola is definitely cup-like. Since the turning point is above the x-axis, the graph will not cut the x-axis. The range is y greater than or equal to 1. No y values are smaller than 1. We need another point in order to shape the parabola and an easy point to get would be the y-intercept. That is when x is equal to 0, because x is equal to 0 all along the y-axis. So let's go back to our formula and in place of x, let us substitute 0 and calculate the y-intercept. So we know that x is 0 at the y-intercept, so we have y is equal to 2, substituting 0 for x and we calculate that y is equal to 3, so the y-intercept is x0, y3. Let's plot it on our graph, x0 and y3. So, now we have our turning point and we have the y-intercept. Let's use the line of symmetry to complete the parabola. We now have the turning point, 1, 1, and we also have the y-intercept, 0, 3. And the line of symmetry is indicated 
and its equation is x is equal to 1. And we'll use this line of symmetry to complete the parabola. Now from this point here on the line of symmetry to the y-intercept we have one unit and using the mirror image on the other side if we take one unit from the line of symmetry we generate that point and now we can complete our parabola and we notice that it is cup-like it has a minimum value and we know the turning point the y-intercept and then this point here will have coordinate x2 y3 this takes concentration let's sketch an upside down graph here is the formula y is equal to negative x squared plus 2x plus 1 let me remind you of the information that you need take careful note of these formulae that we have already used. Let's use the quadratic formula to find the coordinates of the turning point of this upside down parabola. We know that the turning point is PQ but we can calculate P by using the P is equal to negative B divided by 2A formula. Now P is equal to B in our case here is 2 so it's negative 2 divided by 2 and the A is negative 1 so P will be equal to negative 2 over negative 2 so P is equal to 1 now that is the X coordinate of the turning point. In order to calculate the y coordinate of the turning point we will take this value of p is equal to 1 and substitute it for x in order to calculate our q, the y coordinate of the turning point. So q is equal to negative substitute x1 calculated here with p plus 2 1 plus 1 so q is equal to negative 1 plus 2 plus 1 so q is equal to 2. The turning point of this parabola has the coordinates 1, 2. Now we need the y-intercept. We know that the y-intercept will occur when x is 0, so when x is 0 that will fall away and I'll have y is equal to 1. So there will be my point x0, y1 and using the line of symmetry from here one unit along the same line one unit I generate my point there and now I can draw my parabola and I see that it is an upside down parabola with a maximum value and this point will have the coordinates x is 2, y is 1. It is clear that this graph cuts the x-axis and we need to find the coordinates of these intercepts. How we will do this is we will substitute y is equal to 0 because we know all along the x-axis y is 0. So in place of y, I substitute 0 minus x squared plus 2x plus 1 multiplying through by negative 1, I get 0 is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 1 and we can see that this does not factorize. We will now use the quadratic formula to calculate the x-coordinates of the x-intercepts. x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Let's substitute our values. So x is equal to minus b and we have here our b is negative 2 so it's minus negative 2 plus minus the square root we know that b is negative 2 
So it's b squared, negative 2 squared, minus 4. A, A is 1. And C is negative 1. All divided by 2A. And we know A is 1. So X is equal to 2 plus minus the square root. Negative 2 squared gives us 4. Minus times a minus is a plus 4 all over 2. So x is equal to 2 plus minus the square root of 8 over 2. So x is equal to 2 plus minus. Now here I'm going to take my 8 and go 4 times 2 to help me with the square root. So x is equal to 2 plus minus the square root of 4 times 2 all divided by 2. Let's simplify that. So x is equal to 2 plus minus. Now we know that the square root of 4 is 2 times root 2 all divided by 2. And now I can split these two possibilities. I'll have x is equal to 2 plus 2 times root 2 all divided by 2 or x is equal to 2 minus 2 root 2 all divided by 2. This one will come down to x is equal to 2 over 2 plus 2 root 2 over 2. So x is equal to 1 plus root 2. And here we will have x is equal to 2 over 2 minus 2 root 2 divided by 2. So x is equal to 1 minus, and the 2's will cancel, root 2. Let's see what this means on the graph. This intercept here will be when x is 1 plus root 2, and of course y is 0, and then this intercept here will be when x is 1 minus root 2, and y is 0. The points Reno brought up can be put into four simple steps. Let's also recap how to sketch a function in the turning point form. Firstly, we need to determine the shape by studying the value of a. If a is positive, the graph concaves up. If a is negative, the graph concaves down. Once we have an idea of the shape, we determine the coordinates of the turning point. How we do this step depends on which form of the equation was given. Let's look at both. If we are given the equation in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we find the x-coordinate of the turning point using the equation x equals minus b over 2a. x equals minus b over 2a is also the equation which gives us the equation of the axis of symmetry. We then calculate the y-coordinate by substituting the x-value into the equation. If the function is given in the form y equals a, open brackets, x plus p, close brackets, squared, plus q, we find the turning point by looking at the equation. The x-coordinate of the turning point is equal to negative p and y is equal to q. Step 3 and 4 tell us to find the intercepts. To calculate the y-intercept, let x equal 0. To calculate the x-intercept, let y equal 0. Once we have done all these steps, we can plot the points on the Cartesian plane and use them to sketch the function. You can try the task video at the end of the series, or you can visit our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn to learn more about sketching quadratic functions. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Goodbye.